Hey everybody, um, so I know a lot of you have heard me bragging about my new camera and they kind of been wondering what it is. Um, it's the Olympus EPL-1. Um, it's part of their new pen series, and if anybody's familiar with Olympus history, the pen series were the original, I think they were like half-frame sensor cameras. Um, basically what this is, is it's a full-functioning uh, SLR sensor in a point-and-shoot. Um, but it's in a really compact body. A lot of people have actually been asking me, you know, is this an old point and shoot or, you know, how old is my camera? Because, you know, it's bigger than your typical, you know, run of the mill point and shoot, um, especially with the lens extended to its full, um, full focal length. And it's a 14 to 45 millimeter lens, um, with the, you know, the barrel focal length, just like a typical SLR lens. Um, but to get an idea of kind of its size, you can kind of compare it to my um, Olympus E620, which is my full-size SLR. Kind of get an idea of the actual sizes side by side. You know, and it comes with all the same stuff, the hot shoe. Um, but one of the beautiful things about it is the fact that, like I said, it uses the same sensors that 620 does. So I'm getting a, an SLR sensor in a point-and-shoot body. It just doesn't have the pen and prism and the viewfinder and everything you'd find in a single reflex lens camera. Um, you know, it's got all the same settings as well. It's the um, program mode, aperture, shutter, um, full manual, along with some art settings that do some cool things. Like um, it's got like a old vintage looking vignette, and, um, like grainy film, sepia, all the stuff that's fun that I would never find functionally useful. Um, it's got the accessory port too to use the Olympus EVF electronic viewfinder, which is amazing. Um, runs about 250 bucks. When I can afford to get one, I'll buy one. Um, one of the great things about this, though, is while it does come with the micro four thirds, fourteen to forty-five millimeter lens, um, which is substantially smaller than the typical Olympus ED kit lens, um, for about two hundred bucks, you can purchase the Olympus MMF one micro four thirds to full four thirds adapter, and it just clips on the front and the lens mount. And then that allows you to take any of your existing Olympus lenses, the Panasonic's, the Zoico, the Sigma, or any of the other vendor lenses, or like I said, the Zoico Olympus lenses, take them off your full-size four-thirds um, bodies, and flip them right on, and you have full autofocus interface and everything, metering, everything that you would have with the micro four-thirds or on your full-size body onto this. It's, I mean... Even with the lens on, it's still a little, a little clunky, but you know, you're not carrying around a full SLR. And if you just want a point and shoot to take out for the day, you have the point and shoot. If not, you know, you can put any of the the professional lenses on it. Um, you know, and you can go from anything from like this is a 30 millimeter 1.4 um, aperture lens. You know, and I've even mounted this for fun on occasion. I have a 70 to 200 lens, which is kind of like equivalent to those white. Um, Canon L series lenses that you see around if you're a Canon fan, and I mean, you can kind of get an idea of this, this, the sheer size of this, and it still takes great photos, and you don't have to carry around the full size SLR. You know, I don't know if all the cameras are going to start going this way, but I think Olympus definitely may have started a trend with this, and I'd like to see more companies go with it.